Good morning and welcome to Bassin with Alan. I'm Alan Tier, and today I want to show you the El Grande Gila Monster. Now this is a eight and three quarter inch paddle tail lizard and a unique feature of this lizard is it's perfectly symmetrical. There is no flat side to this lizard at all. And we're going to try to give you a demonstration of the action on this thing. I'm going to have to run it top water in order to do that but we'll hope that you'll get a feel of what this lizard can do. Now I've got it rigged on a 5 aught extra wide gap gammy red hook and we'll see what happens. This lizard is designed for grande bass and we're going to be working it like I said a little top water here. Now that tail will kind of rise in the water so this lizard is going to be very effective during the spawn. You can see see right there that the tail is trying to rise in the water. That paddle tail will really give you some good action. Drop it in on a nest and just wait for the explosion. on this Gila Monster comes in right now four different colors soon there will be a multitude of colors available in this lure it is going to be one of the few injection molded baits put out by El Grande Lures the mold is in production now and should be on the shelf no later than probably oh I'm going to say mid spring Right now we're just trying to mimic a lizard running across the top of the water. And as you can see, it's perfectly weedless the way we've got it rigged. Now I did run the head up the line, and you would want to do this fishing it weighted or weightless, as this is a pretty good sized lizard. My rod of choice to fish this with is a Deep South Meg, a Mag Medium Heavy Worm Rod and 50 pound braid. And that would be Vicious Brand Braid, which is my line of choice. Again, perfectly weedless. Just drawing it right through the water. Right through the cover.
<laughs> well, seem to have gotten over a small limb. There we go. Well, let's ease around the bulkhead and just see if we can pick up a quick strike. <clears throat> Wasn't really anticipating one working this lizard across the top, but you never know. Water appears to be down in the lake somewhat. And that's hard to believe with all the recent rains that we've had here. They must have let some water out in anticipation of some moving down to Livingston from Dallas via the Trinity River. Yes. And I believe he's wrapped me up. Well, we'll pause the video while I see if I can get this fish unwrapped. 